tonight on the war on ISIS. The terror group released a new beheading video today. And the White House confirmed American aid worker Peter Kassig is dead. TV 1055's Wendy Gillette has more on this story. Islamic State militants posted the video online early Sunday. It shows a masked ISIS militant dressed in black claiming he's beheaded American aid worker Peter Kassig. This is Peter Edward Kassig, a U.S. citizen of your country. Unlike previous ISIS videos, this one did not show Kassig alive before the beheading, only the aftermath. But there are similarities to the execution videos of four other Westerners. It does seem to be the same person and, you know, obviously inside the government working very hard to exactly identify him and anything we can learn about him. The masked man who speaks in a British accent also warns ISIS will attack Americans on U.S. streets. Kassig was captured in Syria a little more than a year ago. The 20 26-year-old former army ranger turned aid worker, converted to Islam and changed his name to Abdul Rahman while in captivity. In a statement, Kassig's parents said, We are heartbroken to learn that our son, Abdul Rahman Peter Kassig, has lost his life as a result of his love for the Syrian people and his desire to ease their suffering. They also released an audio recording of their son talking about his work. I was able to share a little bit of hope and comfort with some people. The Cassigs plan to speak at a church in Indianapolis Monday afternoon. Wendy Gillette, TV 1055. The 15-minute video also showed what appears to be the mass beheading of more than a dozen Syrian soldiers.